Alrighty everybody, so welcome to a new video I am Ram Zastro and I'm trying something different out. I was talking to someone I know the other day because the new Halloween Kills movie is out. I'm a big fan of the Halloween franchise and I was trying to explain to them where this movie fits in the timelines because surprisingly there's more than one timeline when it comes to Halloween. So I thought, let's make a quick wee video. It's, it's October, the spooky season's upon us, Halloween Kills is out. Let's talk about the timeline. So, before we get to the timelines, I'm just going to get the black sheep out of the way. Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, doesn't fit into any timeline. It is its own movie. It doesn't fit into anywhere to do with Michael Myers. It's its own separate entity. It's a good film on its own right. When I first seen it, originally as a child, I hated it. Because I wanted Michael Myers. But the older I got and the more I watched it, the more I really came to enjoy this film. So the Halloween 3 doesn't fit into any timeline, this will be the only time you see it in this video. See you later. So, let's get started. So, we're going to talk about the original timeline. So, we can't start a timeline without a first installment, so we have the original John Carpenter's Halloween starring Jamie Lee Curtis. So that is our starting point for the original timeline great film great film i love it i love it a lot so if you want to continue the original timeline you just naturally you go into halloween 2 this ha this movie that just continues it's in the same night it's on the and i'm trying to be as spoiler free as possible for people that haven't seen them and they're looking at this video to find out where they want to start so this movie follows halloween perfectly now, if you want to continue this timeline with a bit of a jump, you'll go straight into Halloween 4. Halloween 4 is... Some people thought it was that's when it started going downhill. I personally love Halloween 4. And if you want to continue this timeline, we'll go into Halloween 5. The Revenge of Michael Myers. Halloween 4 is the return of Michael Myers. So this timeline is continuing. We've got 1, 2, 4, 5. Not confusing at all. Not confusing at all. Then the final chapter of the original timeline is it's a Marmite movie. People either love it or they hate it. There is no in between when it comes to the final chapter of this timeline. So the final movie in this timeline is Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers or just Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers. It's the final installment of this timeline. This movie, I, depending on my mood, I like it or I don't like it. It's one of those movies that you can love and you can hate at the same time. It just depends on your mood at the time. But this is Timeline 1, Halloween, Halloween 2, Halloween 4, Halloween 5, then Halloween The Curse of Michael Myers. I don't know why they stopped numbering them. I really, really don't know why they stopped numbering them. It is weird, but that's that timeline. If you like old school horror movies with a somewhat, and I mean somewhat, flowing story, very very loose flowing story, this is a timeline for you. These two movies, if you watch them back to back, are great, but if you don't watch them back to back, it, they're not as good. But I do enjoy 4 and 5. I like, if, if I am doing this timeline, I always make sure those two movies get watched on the same night. So I might do those two in the same night, then if the next chapter I'll do those in the same night and do that in a night on its own, along with another movie, just to cleanse myself, depending on my mood with this movie at the time. So that's timeline one. Pretty simple-ish, if you forget the fact you go from two to four. So let's get these bad boys cleared away, and we will jump into timeline number two. Okay, so now we're looking at the second timeline. So this is when Halloween first, is first divided into branching paths. So if we want to watch the second timeline, we will naturally start with the original Halloween once again. Start with the original Halloween, starring Jamie Lee Curtis, directed by John Carpenter. Then you'll go into Halloween 2, just like before. So, so far, so good. This is just like the original timeline. This is where the similarities stop. 
So the next movie in this timeline jumps 20 years after the original Halloween and that is Halloween H2O or Halloween H2O 20 years later. I'm not sure what the, if that's the full title or that's the tagline. Not sure. But yeah, so this continues where this one, well not where it left off, but 20 years later because these are the same night. Still starring Jamie Lee Curtis. Still rocking it. I like H2O, but at the same time, it depends on my mood. Sometimes I really like it, sometimes I think it's a bit bleh. It depends on my mood. And then, to finish this timeline off, it's a nice short timeline, you finish with Halloween Resurrection. A lot of people, and I mean a lot of people, hate Halloween Resurrection. Me personally, it's a good popcorn movie, just shut your mind off and watch. It's very cheesy, very cheesy. There's a lot of tropes and stereotypes in that movie, but hey, it's Halloween Resurrection. What do you expect? But if you do have this in DVD, there is a good special feature where you can watch the entire movie through webcams. Now that makes sense if you've seen the movie. If you've not seen the movie, watch the movie first. So this is timeline number two, also known as the H2O timeline. I don't know what, I just call this timeline two. This is timeline number two. So let's get these bad boys cleaned up and we'll go on to timeline number three. Now timeline number three doesn't start with the original Halloween. Timeline number three starts with a remake of the original Halloween by Rob Zombie. Now this movie, you either love it or you hate it, it's kind of like that with all the Halloween movies after the original they're very marmite with the with the fan base but i really like this movie i love it i absolutely love this movie i think it's great i've i've probably watched this more than i've watched the original no wait no maybe it's 50 50 they're the same but i really love this remake so this is the start of timeline number three halloween by rob zombie then it continues and concludes with the awful 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 rob zombies halloween 2 absolutely hate this movie it's my least favorite of all the halloween movies i cannot state how much i hate this movie more oh it angers me i think I, oh so i'm trying to film all this in one take so i haven't scripted it or anything but if you're going to go down this timeline just watch halloween forget halloween 2 exists just don't bother with it it is a pile of dog shit it is awful i he, I cannot state enough that how bad this movie is. They set up a lot of good stuff in this movie and this film just shits all over it. Some decent characters in this film become shit characters in this film. Overnight, it makes no sense. Do not bother with this movie. It is shit. So, as far as I'm concerned, there's only one movie in this timeline. Kind of like Halloween 3, it's its own little thing. But, if you really have to, there is a second one. So now, let's move on to the fourth and final timeline so the fourth timeline weirdly starts off with the original halloween once again we're back in familiar territory we watch the original halloween but then it jumps it jumps 40 years later to 2018 with a movie called halloween so don't get me wrong, I hate the fact they're both called Halloween. It's not a remake. It's not really a... It's a sequel to the original Halloween called Halloween. It is weird. Just leave it at that. So do you want to continue Halloween to Halloween? Which then falls into the current movie that is just out. Halloween Kills. So I have seen Halloween Kills. It is great. Fucking fantastic. I don't have a DVD of it because it's just out in the cinemas over here at the moment but Halloween Kills follows on this so so far this is a nice simple timeline there's only three movies but next year there will be the final chapter of this timeline which is called Halloween Ends we don't have a poster of it so here's a fan made poster to continue this little timeline it's only four movies long out of the four timelines this is probably no you've got the remake that's the shortest one but so let me just get all these movies back up just going to leave them piled about. 
God damn you, Halloween 2. Uh, I've angered myself just by looking at the cover of that. Right, so, which timeline do I like best? It depends on my mood, personally. It depends on my mood. Sometimes I like to watch timeline number one. Sometimes I like timeline two. But recently I've been really enjoying timeline number four because it's probably the most recent one. You can just jump into it easier. It's a nice fast-paced timeline. It's not a slow-building timeline. It's a fast-paced timeline, which I quite like. I enjoy, I enjoy fast pa pacing. Unlike the original, well, the original Halloween isn't fast-paced, but once you jump to 2018 Halloween, the speed picks up. But I do have a real soft spot for Halloween 4 or 5, so that's why I like the original timeline. I do enjoy that original timeline. So I hope this video has helped. I've been thinking about doing a Talking Timelines series on my channel. Maybe once every month or so, every other month when I think, think of one. Because this is not the only movie franchise or computer game franchise event with a confusing timeline with its sequels. Because Halloween's not the first one to forget about previous sequels and just try and continue from the first one. There's other ones. I can think of off the top of my head. We've got Texas Chainsaw. Uh, oh. Texas Chainsaw. I'm sure there are other ones, but right at the top of my head, that's the main one that jumps off. So if you'd like to see another Talking Timelines, I can jump straight in with Ch Texas Chainsaw Massacre if you'd like. We can talk about that timeline if you want, which requires me to watch Leatherface, because I still haven't seen Leatherface. But that's, that's another video for another day. So I tried to be as spoiler free as possible. Did you like the fact I didn't give any details about what the movies were about? Or would you like me to go into more detail? Let me know in the comments below or on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Just let me know if you'd like me to go into more detail about each film. Or if my just bam, 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 bam. This follows this, this follows that. If that's what you want, you don't want the movie spoiled, you just want to know which order to watch them in. But yeah, so if you're new to the channel, and you like what you've seen, please hit us wherever you like, but subscribe to us. There's, there's loads of decent stuff on the channel. And if you're a vintage viewer, thanks for coming back, let me know what you thought. And as always, do not forget to have a gidgeon. <laughs>